Okay, now what you looking at right here is just another symbol for what I'm showing you here today concerning this doggone Illuminati eye ritual. Now, a lot of people call that the all-seeing eye of the Illuminati. That is true. That's what it's called, the all-seeing eye of the Illuminati. But it also means a lot of most stuff. It also means New World Order. Why am I saying this? Why is this important? This symbol means New World Order. And in case y'all don't know, the New World Order is pioneered by the man Rothschild. If you know about the Rothschild family and the 13 royal bloodlines who control the world, who not even human, they just reptilians inside of human bodies. Yes, people, I'm telling you, I know it sounds weird. And like I said, I got lectures coming in the future to address everything I'm leaving gaps in on this lecture. This lecture is strictly about the eye ritual. OK, now I got lectures to go more in the depth with some of the stuff I'm saying in this lecture that may leave you all in the dark. So don't worry. Brother Sanchez going to come with more lectures to explain those things to y'all. But let's focus on this eye ritual right now and how it connects in to the New World Order and the 13 families and Rothschild, Rockefeller and all these other Illuminati devils that's killing all these people every day. Now, listen to me. This doggone eye ritual that you see your favorite rappers doing ties directly in to the New World Order. Now, when they activate this martial law and start sending people to these FEMA camps, people ain't going to go willingly, y'all. They're going to have to convince you that it's something you want to do. Just like they convince Negroes to have anal sex through Kevin Gates. They convince Negroes to wear skirts because they see these rappers doing it. They convince ne anything y'all see these rappers do. You got Negroes that's going to go copy it the next day. Can't wait to go and get on board with the new trend. That's the importance of these rappers, y'all, because they're going to be helping these 13 bloodlines, these 13 families. They're going to be helping the Rothschild and the government right along with Barack Obama exterminate the half of the doggone life on the earth. They got to get rid of y'all. I don't know the exact numbers, but I know they trying to decrease the earth population to just a few million people, y'all. Listen to what I just said, y'all. That's sad now. Listen to that, people. Don't sit here like you don't care about it. If you don't care what I just said, turn the channel right now and get the heck off my channel because you don't have a heart. Now, I just told you these folks trying to decrease the earth population by a couple of million people. Why is that major? Y'all, there's more than nine billion people on the planet. OK, listen to what I just said. It's more than nine billion people on the planet and they trying to doggone decrease the population to a few million. Do you know how many people that is they trying to kill with this new world order plan? OK, how you think they're going to do it by people you look up to, by your favorite rappers, by your favorite leaders who you think for the people, but they're going to be holding your hand, marching you right on in that FEMA camp. Now, listen to me and stay with me and let me show you about the New World Order, the Rothschild family, but more importantly, the rap industry. I'm not getting off subject here, y'all. The rap industry is going to play a huge part in the New World Order and this new takeover that they about to do. So stay with me if you in the rap music because I'm going to still continue. Now, let's go. OK, what I want to share with you aspiring rappers before I get out of here today is how the rap industry tie into the Illuminati mission and the New World Order. First of all, let me share something to you rappers about getting a record deal that's probably going to turn you off, man. That's probably going to make you question your passion and what it is you think that you want to do with your life as far as chasing this doggone rap dream. OK, you can make a bigger impact on the planet than selling your soul to these devils like all of these other rappers did that I just showed you, sacrificing their family, sacrificing their doggone eyes like doggone fools. Now stay with me. For you rappers that want to get in the rap game, listen to what I got to tell you. All of the money that these rappers getting belong to the Rothschild, okay? 
all of this money that these rappers splurging out with, with all of this jewelry, all of this contract money, all of this money that run the music industry. Y'all, this money belong to the 13 royal families. This money belong to the Rothschild. This money belong to the Rockefellers. And each rapper getting sponsored by a different family. Now, we all know who Jay-Z got sponsored by. Shit, he named his record label Rockefeller. Clearly telling you who, who gave him his millions to help keep Negroes in the dark. So now, the, let me go off subject for a minute. Before I continue with this Illuminati, how it relates to you aspiring rappers that's trying to get in the rap game and the new world order. I'm going to hop off subject for a minute to share something with y'all. I did a lecture about Minister Farrakhan and his connection with the rap industry. So now for everybody that had something to say about me talking about him disrespecting the minister and that he just telling these rappers some positive and all that. You ought to look like a fool now with everything I'm showing you now. How is that good, y'all? How is Minister Farrakhan's relationship with all of these rappers and all of this fuckery helping the people? Explain that to me. How is it helping the people? Okay? Tell me that. I just told you they got Negroes that come positive and they got Negroes that come negative. So, yeah, they got the rappers that saying, fuck these niggas, shoot them in the head. And they got the positive rappers that saying black power, too. But they all Illuminati. So, yeah, y'all, just because it's a minister and it's Farrakhan, that don't mean he's not Illuminati, people. I truly believe that Minister Farrakhan is Illuminati. I don't care what nobody got to say about me. You just don't get in these positions of power without being connected. And if you don't think that's true after I showed you everything in front of your face here today, you got to be a fool. Now stay with me and let me hop back on what I was telling you before I got into that. I just had to throw that out there. Now. Back to these rappers that's trying to get into this music industry. Let me tell you something. I tried to get in it. I tried to be everything that I thought the music industry wanted me to be so I can get signed. You know, I rapped in styles that I didn't really want to rap like. But I knew that this style was hot and that if I rap this way, hey, this is the new trend and everybody doing it this way. And that'll get you a deal. That's just like this rapper Fetty Wap. Man, he's from New Jersey, and he sound like he from Atlanta. Listen, y'all, they can control who you are, man, with this stuff. Because, listen, I remember back in the day when you heard a rapper from New Jersey, you didn't have to question where he from. They had their own rhythm, their own accent, and own culture. Now what they have done to the music game is simplified the shit out of it and made it so shallow that ain't no originality. When I came up, every rapper had originality. You had Mystical. You had Sip the Shocker. Then you had Got Doggone Outcast along with Scarface and UGK. And guess what, y'all? Then none of them sound the same. Okay? You can put on a doggone rap verse of Mysticals and you ain't got to even know who the hell it is. When you put the verse on, you're going to know that's Mystical. When you hear Master P rap, and put the doggone song on without me telling you who it is. The moment you hear it, you know that's Master P. Okay? This was called originality. Something that the rap game is lacking today. Every rapper today sound the same. And if you put a verse on, you don't know who the hell it is. Okay? Everybody wearing a dress. Everybody sound the same. Y'all don't see what's going on? These rappers don't do what they want to do. They being controlled by these doggone labels. And why is this so important for the labels and the Illuminati and the 13 families and the Rothschild? Because if they can control these rappers, they can control your children. And it's so deep that they can even control more than your children. They controlling grown ass men who trying to be this way. So y'all, they shaping our personalities through this energy. And it's fucking sad and it's scary, y'all, because this shit is changing every day and ain't no telling what it's going to be like in a year from now. Now, let me get back on subject and talk about what really happens when you get a record deal. What happens when you get a record deal, y'all? This is the truth that most rappers won't tell you. There's no way that the Rothschild and all of these rich Illuminati bloodline family members 
finna give no Negro millions of dollars and they don't know if they can trust this Negro or not. That's the importance of rituals. That's the importance of blood sacrifices and eye rituals, y'all. Because when these white men sit down, they got an agenda. They ain't signing these rap artists because, man, you sound hot. Don't be that shallow, people. When they sit down at that table to sign these young men, it's an agenda that they trying to put out there. And before they give these young men millions and millions of dollars, they got to know that these young men going to be forever loyal. Now, how can I know that somebody's going to be loyal to me? Shit, if I can got doggone take a knife and cut your eye out of the socket and keep it for a souvenir as a testament to your loyalty, then I know you loyal. OK, I know if a person say, brother Sanchez, I prove myself to you by cutting my finger off or giving you my eyeball. And that person open up their hand and give me their doggone eyeball. Enough said, man. I know they loyal to me. I will give them all the millions that they want because I know they loyal to me and going to do everything I tell them to do. So when you want to get in this rap game, remember that. Be willing to sacrifice something. A lot of these rappers, they give the ultimate sacrifice. And if you sacrifice something like your mama or your father, something like that, then guess what, y'all? You're going to be big because the bigger the sacrifice, the bigger the reward. Just like rapper Kanye West sacrificed his mama. And you see that, man, he went from zero to a hundred quicker than any rapper I can fucking name. Now, you got rappers been in this game for years and they ain't on the level Kanye West on. So come on now, he made the ultimate sacrifice. I'm showing y'all this because I love you. And I used to be a rapper chasing the same thing. I see a lot of talented rappers out there and they hurting and they wondering, man, when I'm going to get discovered, why I ain't got a deal yet. It's a process, y'all, and I'm telling you how to do it. You go and join the Freemasons or join one of them secret societies and be willing to sacrifice something. Simple as that. It ain't about your talent. True enough, you know, talent got something to do with it. Of course, they would prefer you to be talented along with the sacrifice. Of course, now we, we know that. But I'm telling you, ultimately, it ain't got nothing to do with your talent. It's what you willing to sacrifice and how connected you are. Now, let me point out some real important before I get away from you, for you aspiring rappers. This is what happened when you sign a contract. They give you all of these millions and stuff. But guess what, y'all? Ain't none of them rappers that's millionaires can go put their hands on a million dollars. In fact, y'all, they can't go put their hands on a hundred thousand dollars. And if you don't believe what I'm telling you, listen to what I'm about to say so you can free your doggone mind. Now, listen, because knowledge is power. When you sign that doggone contract, you don't get cash money. That's the whole reason for the black card. Why do they promote the hell out of this black card? Okay, because you don't get no millions of dollars. That's the fuckery that they teach you. Can't none of these doggone rappers go put their hands on a million dollars. All of them got black cards that the labels give them. Why they give you this black card instead of cash money, y'all? So they can monitor the money. Now, this is where it get real deep. They give you this black card, yo, and they let you buy whatever you want to buy. You can go out there and buy Bentleys, Rolls Royces, Champagne, Mansions. The Illuminati don't give a fuck what you buy on that black card, people. That's why they gave it to you. But now here's the real secret. They don't want you to have cash money. They give you the black. They give these young men black cards. Why do they give them the black card? Again, so they can monitor everything they buying. Why do they want to monitor everything these rappers buying? Because these white folks ain't stupid, y'all. They know it's going to be some smart Negroes that infiltrate their way into this Illuminati, get all of this money, and then try to use it to help the people and try to wake the people up like Tupac did. So to prevent all of that, they just get your behind a black cart. And every time you swipe something, they know about it. Now, let me tell you what happened. They don't care if you go out there and buy champagne and buy jewelry and all of that. Them people don't care about that. But the minute you go to that bank and make a big withdrawal, 
anything over a hundred thousand dollars or even fifty thousand dollars, guess what? It's gonna be an agent knock on your door, sit you down, and say, "Come here, little boosie. We was just looking uh at the finance records the other day, and we noticed that you made a withdrawal for a hundred thousand dollars. That's no problem or nothing, but we want to know what you're doing with it." See, y'all, these people got tabs on that money that you think they giving these young men. It ain't they money. They don't care if you go out there and splurge and all of that. But the minute you try to make a big withdrawal, that label going to come knock on your door. OK, and they want to know what the hell you took fifty thousand dollars out for because they don't want you to go and get that money. For example, if a rapper take one hundred thousand dollars out and go try to help children in Africa. Or if they take a hundred thousand dollars out and go try to rebuild a ghetto or take a hundred thousand dollars out to give it to Umar Johnson to help build a school or something. See, these white people ain't stupid. They want to know every dollar that's being spent. And that's why they get these Negroes a black card. And the minute them Negroes go to the bank and try to take out a big ass withdrawal, somebody knocking on their door asking them what the hell you taking that much money out for. So people, it's not really their money. Now, this is what I'm telling y'all. It's all an illusion, okay? It's a black card. You can't just go and withdraw no damn $100,000. Them people going to ask you what the hell you doing. It's part of a family. You part of a society. You sold your soul. And you can't use this money to help the people, okay? It's them against us, people. That's what I'm telling y'all. So for all of you people that's still caught up into the race war, this video ought to show you that it's so much deeper, man, because you got our own people that's taking these oaths and taking these sacrifices and helping these 13 bloodlines, helping these white people, these Illuminati, not only kill black people, but kill white people, too. Listen, when the new world order go down, they ain't just going to be marching black people up in them FEMA camps. They're going to be marching Americans, period up in there that's why i keep telling y'all it's the haves versus the have nots now there was a movie that came out a long time ago uh i forgot the name of it and i ain't finna pull it up because you gonna know what i'm talking about when i tell you it was one of the movies about the world ending and the only people that got saved in the movie when the world was ending was the rich people the rich people went away on this big ship because all the poor people couldn't afford it. So all the world had to die while only the rich people live because they the only ones that can afford it. So there you go, y'all. It's the haves versus the have nots. I'm trying to wake your mind up and show you what's going on. Now, the people in power ain't even human, y'all. I know that's scary. But if you don't believe me, just look at the back of your dollar and look at that all seeing eye that's in that pyramid and stare at that eye for a minute and tell me, is that a human eye? If you look at that eye on the back of that dollar that's inside of that pyramid, you will see that that's a reptile eye. You will see that that eye got scales on it like a snake. It's not a human eye. All of these rappers and all of these entertainers that's up there in power, they selling their souls to a reptilian entity, y'all. Them people are not human people. These Rothschild families and Rockefeller families, these are reptilians, people. They ain't humans. They inside of human bodies, but they are not humans y'all and like i said i got lectures coming up in the future to explain that these people literally selling their souls to the devil y'all so if you want to get in the rap game be willing to do this and here you have it y'all it's not like they can go and take out a million dollars because they get a black card and everything they spend their money on is being monitored why you think these rappers buy big ass mansions and shit you talking about some of these rappers ain't even got no big family. It's just them and their girlfriend. And they living in a doggone $50 million mansion with 30 doggone rooms in it. They By the time they die, they don't even visit every room in the mansion. That's how big the mansion is. And people wonder like, man, damn, why they spend all that money on a mansion, man? Because they can't go get cash out. So this is how the rappers be able to recoup some of that money, y'all. They buy mad big ass mansions, big ass cars, because they know they can't just go and get $30 million out in cash. 
So they take the equity out in these houses. They take it out in these cars. So y'all, there's a science to splurging. It ain't just that they splurging. It's that, yo, this is how they getting some of they recouping some of this money out because they know they being monitored. They know they can't just go and take $30 million cash out without an agent coming to address them. So the next best thing is, hey, well, shit, fuck it. Since they want to monitor a nigga and I can't take all this money out, fuck it. I'm going to buy the most expensive house. I'm going to spend heavy. That's how the science of splurging came about, people. It ain't just something that just started. This is the way the rappers recoup some of that money. So listen, y'all, I've been very lengthy in this lecture, and I really appreciate y'all for listening to me, but I got to wrap it up now, y'all. What you can do is go and rewind this, share it with your friends. This knowledge needs to get out, people. Share this video with your friends and put this knowledge out, y'all, because knowledge is power. And people don't know this stuff that I just showed you in this video. And we got to wake up, y'all, because the ignorance is West is how they winning, y'all. The ignorance is how they winning. Now, everybody that's listening to this video got somebody in their family that's rapping and trying to get in the music industry. Everybody that's listening to this video right now, either are a rapper or know somebody that's in the music industry or know some people that just like hip hop. This is what Brother Sanchez is begging you to do. Subscribe to my channel and share this video, y'all. I do these videos and put my life on the line because I love y'all and I see what's going on in the world with the people and it's scary, y'all. It's not good. There's something coming up in the future around the corner that's not good, y'all. And I'm trying to warn people. Every time, if you look at all these Bible prophecies and all these prophets that came in the Quran and in the Bible and all of these religions, they came to warn the people. When these prophets came to warn the people, then nobody pay attention to them. A lot of times people's killed these prophets. Well, y'all, I'm one of these prophets. I'm putting my life on the line to give you all this stuff. And I'm praying, OK, with all of my heart. That you share it with everybody around you. Share it with your children. Share it with your loved ones if you really love them, y'all. Share this video and put it out there. Because the rap music is the most popular music in the world. And it controls the mentality of damn near the whole planet. Especially black people. So please, black people, I beg you, if you say you're with the revolution, if you say you're for the people and you're making a stand for righteousness, listen, share this video with your loved one. Put it out there because everybody want to be in the rap game. Everybody listen to rap music. Well, then share this video, y'all, and t let's put the truth out there so we can wake the people up. Now, I really appreciate y'all for listening to this video, and uh, I really got to go right now because I don't want to make this too long. But I beg y'all, share this video with these guys. Save their souls, y'all, because it's not what you think about this music industry. Go back and watch this video over and over again and get this stuff in your spirit so you don't be deceived, so you can know what's going on, so you can stand up in front of somebody and explain to them what's going on just like I just explained to you in this video. Now, I got to let y'all go today. I love y'all with all my heart. And that's for real, man. I love y'all. Peace.